If you could invest in Apple in the early 80s, but all you had to do is come up with $180 to found, help found that company. You knowing what, knowing what you know now, you would do anything to get to that 180 bucks. Maybe back then it was a thousand dollars. I don't know if this is your Apple. All I know is this was my Apple. This was my Amazon. When we signed up, this was my ticket. This was my ticket. I don't do anything else. I don't think about anything else business-wise. This is it, this is my goose. And had I not come to my first Las Vegas convention before having made a dollar, I registered for it, I would not be here today. I did a two to $3,000 trip before I made a dime on my credit card, I booked it all. Had I not been there, I would not be here today. So you tell me how fired up I am to get a brand new agent to this event. How you guys doing? Woo! Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, I got, I got a lot of great content for you guys today, so I want you guys to make sure you pull out your notes. We're gonna keep on the theme of events. So for those of you that are new or, or you've been around a while, I need a reminder, let me remind you something. Events are a huge part of our business model. Write that down. Events are a huge part of our business model. The person in this room who wraps her head around events, the best is gonna win the biggest. Okay, write this down. You measure your organization from event to event. Every single event you measure your organization. Sometimes week to week, Wednesday training, it grows, it shrinks, it grows, it shrinks. Over time, month in, month out, your organization should grow. Your recruiting should lead to attendance. This year at Dream Summit, March 1st, is a, it's an indictment of your organization. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's an indictment of your organization. It's, it's validation that all the work that you've been doing for the last year shows up March 1st. Mm -hmm. It's just the way it goes. If Ethan has 12 people at that event and I have seven, does it matter if I did 100 recruits this year? Yes or no? No. 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 Does it matter if I license 20 people? No, what matters is that Ethan had 12 people there and I had seven. Every, everything, nothing matters after March 1st, Cam, that other than how many people you have that event. Now there's always gonna be a reason. This person's delivering a baby and, and this person booked their wedding two years ago on March 1st, they can't get out of it. That's fine, that's factored in. There's one or two or three key people that can't make it for whatever reason. You're never gonna have everybody there. But if Trey has 19 people there and I have seven, Trey is gonna roll me over next year. Yes or yes? Yep. He will most likely double my numbers. You don't have to be the best closer. You don't have to be the biggest recruiter for the year prior. You gotta get the most people to that event. And the event will take care of the rest. The event will take care of the rest. So if you believe in what I'm saying with 18 years experience, do you think it would make sense to get really, really good at driving events? Yep. Yes or yes? yes? Yes. You wanna get really good. You wanna be the Don King of driving events. Don King was a famous boxing promoter back in the Mike Tyson days. He had that tall spiky hair, right? It'd be like Amari with the tall afro, okay? <laughs> Kinda had that, that cute little look. He had the glasses like Amari's got, right? But he was, he, he was Don King. He was the promoter, right? He was, he was the number one promoter of boxing of his era, okay? So, we're gonna talk about how to drive events within your organization. Write that down. How to drive events within your organization. And maybe you've heard me talk about this before. But if you're on pace to have seven people registered for this event and you've been around for three years, you gotta change your thinking. Every single person in this room can have an explosion heading into this event. If you're brand new today at the sound of my voice, you could have six, seven, eight people there, right? Here's a secret, get couples there. Four couples is eight, 10 couples is 20, 20 couples is 40. That's one of the secrets is that we, 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 we encourage couples to come to these events. There's a lot there for them. You want your partner at this event. It's very, very important that partners come to this event. So let's talk, I got six things I want you to write down. This is how to drive big events. If you wanna be a big time leader, right? We're gonna have 500 people in Vegas this year. We're gonna have 700 people in Edmonton this year. And here's how we're gonna do it. Number one, write this down. You gotta create some possibilities for that event. What are the possibilities? I don't wanna know what's realistic. What are the possibilities? Can you get 15, 20 people there? If you're recruiting five a month, let's say you recruit 15 people between now and then. Can you turn 15 recruits into 20 registrations with partners? Can you get it done? Trey yesterday brought a guy on board, got him registered for the event before he got him into licensing. Is that true? Before his orientation, he registered him for the event. 
I'm going to be straight up. You don't, need, you don't need a teammate to register for licensing if they don't plan to come in Edmonton because they're probably not going to be here beyond that event. Almost nobody survives not coming to the big event who's been around for a bit. It's very, very, very important. So create some possibilities. What are the possibilities? If you recruit 15, 20, could you add 30 or 40? What if you became the most serious person at, at, at heading into this event? What if you could get super, super, super good at mobilizing your team? And then guess what you do for two days? You just sit back and let the event take over. The most excited person at this event is going to be me because all 700 people are on my team. <laughs> and I'm going to speak once for 20 minutes. Do you guys understand the leverage there? I'm going to speak once for 20 minutes and have my whole team blown away by this event. This is a cheat code. Events are cheat codes. They're catch-up vehicles. Anybody in this business can be caught if you have more people at that event, right? Navi could have the best year known to mankind in the SMD base shop. If he gets 20 people there and somebody else gets 40, he's going to struggle keeping up next year. He knows that. That's why he's got 100 people coming. That's his, that's his focus, 100 people. That's why he said 100 and not, not 20. My second point. You got to get good at explaining the value of events to your team. You have to get good at, at explaining the value. You have to get good. You have to get good at it. You have to get good at explaining the value to your team. There's two hurdles that you have to overcome if you want to go pro. Write these down. Number one is time. Your teammates are going to give you a time objection. Steve, I'm busy. I work. I have commitments. I can't get time off. Well, I totally appreciate that, Trey. This event is five months from now. I'm telling you right now, book it off. Every time I do a recruit, I say, hey, listen, there's a big event coming up March 1st. I don't need you to know everything about it. I need you to block that weekend off. So in the orientation, everybody's blocking it off. Because guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to circle back. Because once I take away the time objection, there's only one more objection I have to overcome. And what is that? Money. It's money. money. It's money. It's cost. So for those of you that haven't been in this event, and for, I'll start with those of you that have. For those of you who have been in this event, your numbers probably should be a little higher because you know the value of this event. This is a world-class event. This event, this event knocks thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in time off somebody's business. So it's not that somebody can't afford to go. It's 169 bucks. And I'll tell you right now, there's 10 registrations left at 169 and it's going up to 199 So today's the last day you can get it for 169 Today's the last day. There's 10 left. My wife just texted me. Okay. And then it's going up to 200 bucks. It's worth two, $3,000, but it's going up to 199. So let's talk about the cost for a second. Is it that they, that they can't afford it or they just don't see the value in it? Value. It's the value. So get good at explaining the value. The other day I spent 30 minutes explaining the value to one person who may or may not register, but you got to get good at explaining the value. The value, the value, the value. If you haven't been to an event, bore your senior partner. The value here is unbelievable. Let's role play for a second. Cam, listen, I know you're new to the business. And I know you maybe you don't see it yet. But you got some big goals here. Right? Retire your spouse, come full time, make 10 grand a month. How important are these things to you right here? Very important. Very important. Oh. Listen, brother, in five months from now, we have a big event. Actually, four months from now, we have a big event. If I told you that this big event would condense all these time frames, mm -hmm. they would get you full time faster. They would get you to 10K faster, right? How important do you think that would be to you? Very important to go. Now, there's an investment required to get to this event because you're an independent contractor. It's $170 plus GST to get to this event. Your accommodations, you worry about that later. Your flight, you worry about that later, okay? But I need you to register for this event. One of two things is going to happen by you coming to this event and making the sacrifice to be there. I mean, financial sacrifice is a few hundred bucks. Time sacrifice, let's not overcook it. It's one weekend and it's a lot of fun. One of two things is going to happen. You're going to come to this event and you're going to leave changed. And everything about how you operate in the business and how you think and your vision, your goals, your speed, everything's going to, everything's going to increase rapidly. And what was going to take you three, four years to get this might take you four or five months. You'll condense mega time frames. The second thing that could happen is you come to this event and after an amazing weekend and you hear all the best speakers, you decide this is not for you. But wouldn't it be worth, wouldn't it be worth you figuring that out in one weekend rather than you dragging this thing on for three, four years before you decide it's not for you? 
Mm -hmm. That's why you need to be at this event. Because most of our agents experience number one. Right. It's a win-win. Either way, you win. You come to this event, decide it's not for you in one weekend. Or you come to this event, and you don't waste your time anymore. Stop wasting your time. Stop coming to training. Why pay for a license? You're done. You're out. The second thing is you come and your whole life changes. So you tell me. You tell me why you, know, why you shouldn't be at this event. Like these are the conversations we should be having with all of our teammates. Those are the only two options. You come and you do nothing after and you leave the business or you come and you blow up, you, you blow up, you, you, your mind gets blown. There's actually a third option, by the way, that we don't necessarily need to talk about is that they, they come to the event, they maybe they don't explode coming out of the event, but they just don't quit. They just don't quit and they hang on to the next one and it's the next one that they blow up at but they're not gonna make it to the next one if they don't get to that event. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's that important. It's $179 in Canada to get into licensing. It's $169 for this event, okay? So back to my second point again. Get good at explaining the value of the events to your team. If you've been here for three, four years, you can't have another 15 people there. After four or five years, you should have 50 people there. Some of you should have 100 people there. This is important. This is your business. Get good at it. Number three, get some solid dates from all of your teammates and hold them accountable. Get some solid dates from all of your teammates and hold them accountable. Hey, listen, when are you going to get registered? What's the date? And then hold them accountable, right? What is it? When are you going to do it? Okay, and with that, create some possibilities on how they can do it cost effectively. Just get registered. Figure out the flight later. Figure out the, 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 the Airbnb later. Just get registered. Matt, go on Marketplace. Sell a lamp, right? <laughs> sell your old tires. Sell a freaking Pokemon card. Lego. Get to this event. What would you, what, if you could invest in Apple in the early 80s, but all you had to do is come up with $180 to help found that company. You, knowing, what, knowing what you know now, you would do anything to get to that 180 bucks. Maybe back then it was $1,000. I don't know if this is your Apple. All I know is this was my Apple. This was my Amazon. When we signed up, this was my ticket. This was my ticket. I don't do anything else. I don't think about anything else business-wise. This is it. This is my goose. And had I not come to my first Las Vegas convention before having made a dollar, I registered for it, I would not be here today. I, I did a two to $3,000 trip before I made a dime on my credit card. I booked it all. Had I not been there, I would not be here today. So you tell me how fired up I am to get a brand new agent to this event, okay? The fourth thing I want to write down is this. Get yourself registered for it. Like, get yourself on the list. Why wouldn't you come? Why wouldn't you come? If, 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 you're, if you're willing to get a license and you're willing to come to training and you're willing to spend time doing it and you get fired up and you're all, you're, apparently you're all in, wouldn't you just find a way to get there? Now we got, we're gonna have people coming up from the US. There's no excuse. If we had a team in England, they'd fly from England. If there was a team in Australia, they'd come from Australia. I tell them the same thing. It's only going to cost you five grand to come from Australia. It, Money's all relative. It's, it's an investment in your business. But get yourself registered. How can you afford not to come? How can you afford not to come to this event? How can your teammate? Here's the challenge with your teammate. They're like a brand new baby here and you're influencing them. You're influencing them. So are you registered? A, do you talk about it all the time? And are you getting, are, have you had this series talk with them? Nancy, I'm gonna be honest with you. Not only do I want you there, I think you could be there with 10 teammates. But if you don't get registered and you wait till the last minute to register, you're gonna find an excuse not to come. And B, even if you do come, you'll have nobody come with you. Get registered now so you can have five, six, seven people. Let's create some possibilities. If you come to this event, March 1st to 3rd, and you get no value out of it, then maybe, you maybe I'll split the cost of your ticket with you. Who knows? I've, it's just never happened, right? It's never happened. It's never happened. All right, next thing I want to write down. Constantly be talking about the team goal. Every single meeting, every single meeting, team goal, team goal, team goal. Our base shop just went over 80. 
right? Team goal, team goal, team goal. What's your number? What's your number? What's your number? When you think about recruiting, you're thinking about five recruits, five registered, five recruits, five registered, five recruits, five registered. What's with all this recruiting that's happening and none of these people are registering for the event? What's the point? What's the point? This is an event business. Are we forgetting to tell our teammates that this is an event to event business? There's a couple events a year. Hey, here's the good news, Carla. You don't have to buy a franchise here. You don't have to pay $200,000. You don't have huge overhead. You don't have a bunch of hiring expenses. You don't have to buy inventory. You don't have to go to college. But you got to come to two or three events a year if you want to win big. And according to your goals, you seem like the kind of the guy that wants to win big. So why don't we get together on Saturday and figure out what it's going to take to get you and your spouse registered for the event this weekend. This weekend. So that by the time now, in the next four, three and a half months, we get five, six, seven couples there. How awesome does that sound? Yes, sir. Let's go. These are the conversations that, that we need to start having, right? That's the business that we're in, okay? So it calls me talking about the team goal. And my last point is this. Run some side contests for the event. Run some side contests for the event. Throw some names in the hat. Draw Visa gift cards. Do reimbursements. Right? Maybe you maybe you rent the Airbnb and you get your and you you let your teammate crash on your floor. I did all those things. I first event I slept in someone's bathtub. <laughs> right? Second event I let other people see my bathtub. I remember my first Vegas event. There was two queen beds and I think there was three people in each queen bed. And two people on the floor. Like whatever it takes. Whatever, this is Edmonton. <laughs> this is Edmonton. This isn't Dubai. <laughs> We're not flying Emirates to Dubai. We gotta get to Edmonton, Alberta. God bless Edmonton, Alberta. If you don't need to go there, you don't need to go there, okay? But this thing's in Edmonton, Alberta. It's not gonna cost you an arm and a leg. Other teams doing their event at the same time, their tickets are 400 bucks a person. Their, their, their rooms that are mandatory to book at are 600 a night. We're at this event to keep the overhead low. We could charge $999 and maybe people would, maybe they'd see more value in it because people like to pay more for things. They think there's more value there. But of course it's going to be way more badass. We got some things planned this year, you guys. It's going to blow your mind. It, it's going to be more badass. It is going to be leveled up. You have no idea what we got planned. You want teammates there. You're going to be sitting at that event feeling one of two ways. You're going to be sitting there going, oh my God, I'm so glad. I am so glad that I got my whole team here. Or you're going to be sitting there thinking about Skippy, who's back home, <laughs> eating Cheetos, right? Driving Uber, because you did a really poor job of selling Skippy on this event. You did a really bad job of selling Skippy on this event. And you're going to come home and you're going to be at a level 10. And Skippy's going to be at a level 3. And Skippy not, might not be around for very long. Because you come back, you might blow him out with your energy. And your enthusiasm and your passion. And Skippy's down on their luck. I'm always investing in my team to help them get there. I'm always running contests. Every year, I sponsor 5 to 10 people myself to come to events since I started. I'm not saying you guys all have to do that. I'm saying I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'm willing to do whatever it takes as a leader to get some of that event. Yeah, I paid for Jennifer Thompson to come to an event. That's an investment. And at that event, she met her future husband, Chad Thompson. Mm -hmm. I paid for her ticket to be at that event and she could only show up for the gala. That year, I think I, I paid for four people to come and she was one of them. And that business now, you want to talk about friendships, changed my life. But that business now pays me a couple hundred thousand bucks a year for the rest of my life. That friendship changed my life. You just never know. But if you're in the space right now of like, I'm unsure if I'm going to go and I'm so broke and I can't afford to go. And I'm and all you think about is me, 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 me. You're never going to get to a place where it can be about other people. The sooner you get past yourself, the sooner you can open yourself up and make it about everybody else that needs to be at this event because these are life-changing events. If you like this training, make sure to watch this next one because I know you're gonna love it.